Hello everyone and a very happy new year to you all. Laurie and I are currently in Berlin and we've decided to hire a car for ourselves and of course for you guys to drive around the city. What do we choose? Well it's Berlin. There's only one thing we ever could have gone for. It's a Trabi. More specifically a Trabant 601S Combi. The Combi version basically being the sort of estate hatchback thing which looks longer than a normal Trabi but I'm not sure it actually is. Now for those of you who aren't aware, the Trabant is basically the East Germany car. And I really mean that. If you lived in East Germany under communist rule and you wanted a car, basically you had to have one of these. It has a 595cc two-cylinder two-stroke engine. These guys thought of downsizing about 50 years before the rest of the world caught up. Power output, allegedly around 26 horsepower. Nought to 60 time is yes. Now this car we've rented from the very friendly people at trabantberlin.de. There are several companies around the city that let you drive one of these, but these are the guys that let you take it out on your own and do whatever you like with the thing, provided you return it in roughly original condition. And in this case, roughly original condition means just that. And most German cities, Berlin included, have very, very strict rules as to what kind of car you can drive through the city centre. In short, if your car's older than around about 2006, it's probably not going to be allowed into what they call the Umweltzone, the environmental zone. Now, the only way to get around that is if you have what German authorities classify as a vintage car. Now, to be a vintage car and to have a vintage registration, it can't just be an old car, it must be an old car in pretty much original condition. That means the original colour, made with the correct paint, using the correct materials, and even the spare parts and maintenance must be done to correct and original standards. And when it comes to maintaining one of these things, that's not very easy. People back in the day used to keep these things running with whatever parts they could find. In fact, when the belts on them used to snap, it was not unheard of to replace them with women's tights. Anyway, this one is ours for the next three hours, so let's get on the move. So the Trabant has a column mounted manual shifter, it's an H pattern basically. So you it's, it's, it's basically down for first, up for second, neutral, pull it towards you, down for third, and, and so forth. But there's only four gears anyway. I'm going to try and pull that into Berlin main traffic. Oh yep, there we go. Person, yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. He took his life into his own hands when he decided to jaywalk, which is illegal here. Subway? You get sandwiches? Yeah, no, we're not going to Subway. Not in Germany. We apologise for the slightly lo-fi ah. nature of today's video, but I think it's in keeping with the subject matter, don't you? <laughs> We have no hi-fi, we just have lo-fi. Yeah, very lo-fi. Yeah, there's no... I don't Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if you could have put a radio in here. That I don't looks know like what, a blanking plate for a radio. It does look like Oh, it. that's a handhold! Yeah, don't hold it though, because it looks like this entire thing is going to come off. It's just... The car itself is made out of Duraplast, so it's basically like a communist version of uh, fiberglass. We're dry, aren't we? Yeah, that's... that's yeah. That's a stage yeah. up on the MR2, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And so, the road we're going down now is Frankfurter Allee, so if you want to trace our route on Google oh, Maps... Oh no, 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 we're now on Karl Marx LA. Are we on Karl Marx LA now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You are wrong. Oh, we're by the Frankfurter Tour uh, U-Bahn station. Yes, which funnily enough is on Karl Marx. Karl Marx. Oh well. Not Karl Marx. It's, it's Karl Marx with a Z, because he's cool. Z, X. Yes, got well, three X's. Porn <laughs> <Born> star. <laughs> you heard it, Karl Marx. This is it. What oh, the Yes! Not at fourth yet, not at fourth. Don't want to go wild. Now the rev gauge is this little light up display down here. Oh, that's what that show is. Show the peeps. Oh, show the lip. That is what that is. Yeah. That's a rev counter. Top speed, I'm told, is officially around 100k. I mean, it will do, apparently, about 120, but you don't want to be in it when it's doing 120. Uh, to start it, you, you've got to choke and the choke basically deactivates one of the cylinders. Oh, so you, when have it's, you have pushed that in, yeah? Yeah, it's back yeah, in, yeah. that's back in. So when, when you are running on the choke, it's, it's a single cylinder car. It's not particularly smooth ride when you're off the throttle. It's, uh, yeah, there's no real technology in this car, which is great because it means basically you can keep these things going forever. Um, there's 
not really any that advanced in them. Can you see anything out of your windscreen wiper? Because I've seen nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My windscreen wiper works okay. And my, mine does not work at all. Yours is not? Alright, okay, well. Are you sure you want to use the windscreen wiper and not to drain the battery? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were warned, AC. I would have thought. Now, in Germany, you don't have to have the lights on during the daytime as you do in some European countries. Uh, so I, but I thought with this being a tiny uh, little car, in a colour they call uh, Papierweiss, paper white. And I, I tell you, it tells you a lot about East Germany if this is their idea of white paper. Um, I would have thought that the best idea would have been to have the lights on all the time. No, no, they say don't do that because it will drain the battery. And then if you do run it for that, the only way to restart it is to push it, not to yes. jump it. This car's quite advanced, it has a 12 volt battery. Apparently a lot of them run on 6 volts still. <laughs> revs, boy, revs, give it more revs. Yes. I think we are... She smokes a fair bit there. We're travelling along here. Well, look, you've got all the... And we're going to hit, and then you go into this bit. You've got all the, uh, the stations to tell you where we are. So you should have no, no doubt as to where we are. We've got GPS, but that takes the fun away from it. Why are you using that? Use the map! I mean, You're cheating! They did not have Sony phones in, in the GDR. Put it away, boy. I have been here before. I've roundabout! Been to, I've, I've He's going backwards on a roundabout! Yeah, that's the last one. Now, I've been to Berlin many times. Uh, I think this is actually my eighth journey, perhaps. And um, I've seen these things all the time. I've always wanted to, to hire one out, but... Uh, I uh, never have. This is genuinely the first time. I've never even sat in one apart from in a museum. Oh, until, that's a hotel. Uh, until earlier. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Uh, Unter den Linden, yes, yeah, so we want to go straight ahead. Unter den Linden, under the linden trees, is basically it's one of the main main thoroughfares in Germany. It takes you straight to the Brandenburg Gate. I think, I think we should see the Brandenburg Gate, do you? Sure. Yeah. Where's that on the map? Well, it's, 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 it's there. there. Is that it? That thing? Yeah. Right, cool. So we want. It's a big picture of the Brandenburg Carl... Gate. This is a something road. Well, we're going to keep going straight because that's what the sign said. Okay. <laughs> Christmas market. There are lots of Christmas markets. I think the last time I checked, there's something like 33 Christmas markets in Berlin. I don't know if German left or something left. left. Yeah, links. Links? Bests. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There could be a lot of German people watching this video. You don't want to offend them. No, you don't. I was thinking of just going left. No jokes about leaning to the right. I haven't said anything. That's you taking us there. <laughs> With it being an old car, you have to actually be quite brutal on it. Like, don't ride the clutch for long, because the clutch won't last for long. And basically give it quite a bit of throttle. It's a very... As a modern car driver, it's not a natural way for you to want to drive a car, but it's where you have to drive it. Fortunately, the car doesn't weigh much, so you're not really putting too much force through anything. I wouldn't want to have a crash in one. There isn't an awful lot of car, is there? I mean, aside from the fact that I don't have 1,500 euros for the excess, but um, I don't think we'd walk away or walk again. To be fair, it's winter, it's very, very cold outside, and although I can't feel the heat doing much, it's actually all right in here. I'm not cold. Green light. Yes. This wing mirror is really interesting, because it's obviously convex. What I'm talking about. This really is a beautiful winter's day. It did start the day snowing, so. Oh, oh, oh. Good gosh. You gotta, you gotta feed it still a little bit. Yeah, big Ferris wheel up there. So this is Alexanderplatz. I kind of think of this as the centre of the the east, basically. Now coming up here on the left, you have Berliner Schloss, Berlin Palace. Basically, this was being developed at the minute. So uh, it's a nice old palace. Uh, when the wall went up and when the East, East Germans sort of moved in, the communists moved in, they used this uh, as a government building, I think. And basically when the wall came down, uh, the people went in it and realized that in the sort of 40, 50 years they've been there, they hadn't done a lick of maintenance. So uh, they decided they had to actually tear the place down and rebuild it because it was going to be cheaper than actually trying to fix the problems that had been caused. 
the government said, yeah, we'll rebuild it, but we won't rebuild it to make it look like it did because that's expensive. But if you guys want to raise some money and make it look like it did, uh, we'll happily put the frontage up. So we're uh, asking for okay. donations to, to rebuild that. I've actually, I did make a donation to help uh, rebuild that. Over to the right here, you have Museum Island. If you're into your history, some great stuff there. There's the uh, Pergamon Museum, uh, a few other museums whose names I, I, I forget, but it's a uh, uh, great, great place. I really love this city, to be honest. Probably one of my, one of my two favourite cities in the world. Uh, is it that's this in LA? This in LA, yeah. Okay. Driving in LA is quite an experience as well, but for very different reasons. I would not drive one of these in LA. No way. Could we die? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have lots of weird figures, so they're putting up this thing around here. It shows you what the subway is going to be like, and there appears to be someone on a horse in there, and there's there's a there's a massive eagle trying to prey and steal a man's baby, and uh, an indie singer songwriter. So uh, we don't know what that's all about. It's, I think it's trying to say that it's going to be a, a hip and cool place to be. It's where all the young people are going to hang out. Well, Berlin is a very cool, trendy city. I'll give it that. But I still don't think they'll be letting horses onto the subway anytime. Go go go! Yes. That one. Lost kids! Oh, damn you, Skoda VRS. Uh, we'll have him, we'll have him. Yeah, Skip. we'll get him. As long as he hits some traffic and we don't, we got him. Oh, it's the Berlin store, that's where... Oh yeah, we did have him as well! That was a glorious moment. Now, I'm going to see if we can get onto um, Parisa Platz. Parisa Platz is the name of the big square brand of a game, so I'm going to see if I can actually drive onto it and probably get shooed away quickly. German police, obviously world-renowned for their sense of humour. I'm sure they're going to have absolutely no problems at all with a couple of idiot English pig dogs driving one of their treasured trabbies through, all rigged up with cameras. I can see no reason that anybody would be upset with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, bus, 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 bus! Ah, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this was going right where he wanted to. Nice use of the taxis. I feel like there's a large police presence. There's a nice old car there. Yeah, let's. Uh, oh no, we can't go there. Let's just. Um, Feel slow. Like we may have made a. Uh, That's casual. <laughs> Fly casual, Jimmy. Through the Brandenburg Gate! <laughs> no, we can't. No. No, that's just uh, trend around and uh, try not to run over pedestrians. Go back by the, past the police. Smile and wave at the police. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I made eye contact with the police. Oh, oh dear. Bad move. Just keep driving. Yeah. Fly straight. Eyes down. Eyes down. <laughs> Fly straight and narrow. I once parked here with about a dozen Reliant Robins. Right here. <laughs> that video I showed you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this hotel, by the way, this hotel is famous. This is where Michael Jackson dangled his baby out the window. Oh, excellent. Yeah, uh huh. He's yeah, possibly he's... coming out in front of you. Am I getting under, cut under? I've never been more terrified in the car. Well, I can tell you something with certainty. That even if at the current moment you are the most terrified anyone has ever been in a car in about 15 minutes, someone will have been more terrified than you. We're talking in about 15 minutes, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. See, the thing is, ladies and gents, that I've driven this city before. I've driven Germany quite a bit. I know the rules of the road around here. I only have to work out how a Travi goes. He hasn't. <laughs> The last time he drove abroad was when we did the Scrappage Rally, which you had to go about three miles to find something to hit. For those of you who don't know, so we're heading now towards Checkpoint Charlie. For those of you who are unaware, Checkpoint Charlie is one of the several places where you used to be able to cross from the Old East to West Berlin. Now, it was only a few years ago that I actually realised this, but because of the way that East and West Germany are divided up, West Berlin was actually basically an island surrounded by East Germany. And it was pretty much a little bastion of the free world. Yeah, yeah, it was com com that. completely surrounded. That's why I had to airdrop stuff in. It huh. wasn't like you, you crossed over and you could just walk out and get out. You had to then be flown out. So, um, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the walls surrounded 
West Berlin. Mm. Yeah, it makes it much more intimidating, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not just like they just put it. Because then you think, oh, hey, mate, surely the wall would have gone the whole way along East, East Germany. No, no. So Checkpoint Charlie is, I believe, the American crossing point. There were several crossing points, and Charlie was being one of them, and Charlie's the one that's remained and is pretty famous now. As it happens, they've actually sort of de-dressed Checkpoint Charlie. So actually, Checkpoint Charlie currently looks like it did about 40 odd years ago. In reality, when Checkpoint Charlie sort of finished being an actual checkpoint, it was a much, much more serious, severe affair with huge guard towers and things like that. Now, you'll see two pictures of two soldiers when you go through, uh, a Russian one and an American one. Now, the American one is a guy that was actually a soldier stationed here, and uh, the Russian one's an actor. We had a look under the bonnet um, before we picked it up, and the whole unit, including the fuel tank, is about that. No, the fuel tank's separate. Yeah, but no, I'm saying like the whole spice. You know how you check the fuel? No. You open the, the, the fuel tank and you have a look. Jeez. On the old days, you'd use a stick. <laughs> to be fair, that's how you measure it with like a beetle. You'd have a stick. Second gear. Okay, oh, oh, coming up to Checkpoint Charlie. This is it. Big important moment. You see him? I still don't see him. Oh, how can you not see him? I don't know where I'm looking. You are blind. Oh, the middle of the road. What, the big guy? The enormous, like, ten foot picture, yes. Yes, yes, I see him. So we are in east, going to west. Um, yes. Bikes. These bikes don't seem to look, do they? They just no, seem no, to no, manoeuvre. No, They're cyclists. It's a universal thing. Yeah, it's not before. Somebody's filming us, so we'll film them. And this is it, with a tree with many flags. Mm -hmm. And this, this is it. There you go. Cool. How'd you like the free world, Laurie? Oh, sleeker. I like them. That's what I wanted Laurie to get, instead of another MR2. MR2 is cool, though. Yeah, oh, look at that. More Christmas markets. Yeah, the Christmas markets are really nice. There are some amazing food we found. And some amazing tat. I'm scared with this of trying to start in third and put it into reverse to start. Yeah, I did that once on the uh, little drive round. <laughs> Apparently it won't take it very much. I did oh, see the yeah, Lambo. Oh, that's nice. That is, that is not as good a car as what we're Okay, in. that's the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. I have been there. You have? Ah, uh -huh. yes. So yeah, there's your brand of ATA. I'd want to get in the left-hand lane sometime soonish. Okay. Well, this says straight on still. So. Yeah, yeah. Straight or that way? <laughs> the riest smile I've ever seen. <laughs> He's so unimpressed. <laughs> yeah, follow these cars, basically. I think the little smile and wave just made it a bit better. There you go, and there were the big main streets in Berlin. Oh, uh, nope, we won't do that, yes. Now, I remember seeing this, but from a long way away. Do you reckon we can get fourth? Oh, yes! I never got I fourth. I am now speeding, but... Yeah, stop it. I'm trying to not tweak that. Nice, so on this map now, so we've been here. We're now heading down here, street the 17th of June. And we go, we're going to go all the way along here. We're going to take Laurie round. I'm going to hook him round. We're going to head through here, back through town, and back. And then that'll be our little adventure kind of complete. So, um, have you enjoyed it? This is great. We need to get one of these cars. This is one of the best things I've ever driven. So uh, we want to say a cool big thank you to the guys at TrabantBerlin.de. I mean, they didn't do us any, um, you know, particular favors or anything. We just rented it like a normal person would. Uh, not, not crazy expensive at all. Uh, it, was a hundred and, it was about 119 euro for two drivers for four hours. So I think that's pretty, that's 30 euros an hour. That's, that's not bad at all. They do do shorter packages as well. Um, they got a selection of different trabbies. They got a little workshop out the back where they look after them all, and they are they keep them in very very good condition because they have to. We should get a shot of that to be fair. Yeah, we'll ask them when we get a shot of that. So, 
they were actually exceptionally nice people as well. They're very, very well. friendly, very, very lovely people. So we can't say uh, I I I enough to thank them because they were pretty cool as well about us coming and filming basically unannounced. So uh, if you want to come and see Berlin, I know there are other ways to do it, but if you're brave enough to, to drive around with a trabby on your own, uh, rather than being in part of a sort of guided group, and this is the way I prefer to do it, go and see those people and uh, mention me. Hey, maybe we'll get free trabbies next time. Yeah, free trabbies. Hey. To be fair, this is one, a great way to see Berlin. Yeah. And it's a bit more of an adventure as well. Well, like, you're feeling Berlin as well. You're part of history. Then. 1978, this car. 1978. We'll be part of history when we're done. We'll be infamous for this. Where yeah, am I going? Uh, yeah, straight over. Okay. Traffic light. No. Uh, straight over. Yeah, they're the big way, the big way all around. Good, seems to be good, good. Into fourth off the roundabout. So weird to have like a big road and then parking. All yes, the way look at that. Of it. But this is like major, major thoroughfare. So at some point, if you can see somewhere to park, and we stop, and we'll stop some of these cameras rolling. And um, that would be good. Yeah, that's all right. There's loads of places.